Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Mohammed Shama. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabra Sabah, on the occasion of His Majesty receiving the United Nations Industrial Development Organization UNIDO Award. In the cable, the Emir of Kuwait congratulated His Majesty the King for receiving the award in appreciation of His Majesty's efforts in developing Bahrain, turning the kingdom into a model for business development and economically empowering women. His Majesty was awarded the UNIDO Award during a ceremony held by the organization marking 50 years years of its founding. The Emir of Kuwait wished His Majesty the King health and happiness and for the Kingdom of Bahrain further progress and prosperity under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace today the participants of This is Bahrain event recently held in Italy, organized by the Bahrain Federation of Expatriates Association. The participants briefed His Majesty on the success of the event and the large turnout which introduced the kingdom, its achievements and status. Various government bodies, religious organizations and NGOs in the kingdom participated in the event. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه أصحاب المعالي والسعادة أيها السيدات والسادة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته نبدأ هذا اللقاء at the beginning of the meeting, the Secretary General of the Bahrain Federation of Expatriates Association Betsy Matheson delivered a speech your Majesty, Your Highnesses, Your Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, Your Majesty, thank you for the honor of receiving us here today on our recent return from the Bahrain Federation of Expatriate Association's latest event, This is Bahrain in Rome. Your Majesty, may I begin by congratulating you on the King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Chair in Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence from Sapienza University in Rome, Italy's leading and most prestigious seat of learning. Your Majesty, our communities are overjoyed at this noble honor bestowed upon our beloved King. This new academic discipline is the first of its kind in the world, and our hearts are filled with pride that young people from around the world will now be able to study Your Majesty's unique visionary leadership philosophy. And it is our dearest wish that communities around the world will live as we do in the Kingdom of Bahrain, in peace and harmony, in the spirit of love and mutual respect, freely practicing our right to religious freedom, to actively practice our faith, and to build our houses of worship, and to exist together as one big happy family, just as we have for many centuries. Your Majesty, this is the true essence of your leadership philosophy. Your Majesty, this is Bahrain. Your Majesty, with your permission, I would like to take a moment to thank His Excellency Domenico Bellato, the Italian Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, for his outstanding and enthusiastic support for This is Bahrain in Rome. His Excellency and his consular team at the Embassy gave us every assistance to make sure our delegate's journey to Rome was as smooth as possible. Your Majesty, I must also mention that the airport and immigration authorities in Rome were so professional, efficient and friendly on both our arrival and departure that we all felt like honoured guests from the moment we arrived in Italy. Your Majesty, we must also thank the Rector of Sapienza University, His Excellency Eugenio Gaudi, and Vice Rector Professor Renato Massiani, and the President of the Sapienza University Foundation, Professor Antonello Falco Biagini, for their many months of hard work and cooperation that culminated in the King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Chair in interfaith dialogue and peaceful coexistence, and a formal agreement between Sapienza University and and Bahrain University for student exchange programs. 
This is the way towards broadening understanding and strengthening communication and cooperation between all peoples of the world. And of course, Your Majesty, it is our normal way of life here in the Kingdom of Bahrain, where we do not simply tolerate others of different faiths, cultures and ethnicity, but where we warmly embrace them as part of our multi-faith, multicultural family. The warmth of the Bahraini welcome is legendary. And we like to say that from the moment you arrive in the Kingdom of Bahrain, you are no longer a stranger. So we extend our warmest welcome to our honored guests today. Your Majesty, Sapienza University sends their grateful thanks for Your Majesty's compassionate gesture of making a very generous financial donation to assist the students and their families who were sadly deeply affected by the recent earthquakes in Italy, as this has allowed them to continue their studies without interruption and with peace of mind. We would like to thank His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa for his gracious presence at This Is Bahrain in Rome and for facilitating this donation through the Royal Charity Organization. Your Majesty, Bahrain has always been a pioneer and let us take education for example. With the first school in the region being opened in Bahrain in 1919 and the first school for girls shortly thereafter. And today we are proud to note that Bahrain continues her innovative and pioneering role in this important field with the launch of the King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Chair in Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence in Sapienza University in Roma. Your Majesty's sincere belief that religious freedom coupled with interfaith dialogue is the key to peaceful coexistence, and Your Majesty's courageous commitment to continue to guarantee rights and freedoms to your people despite the very real and serious threats to our dignified and harmonious way of life by extremists in our region is evidence that Your Majesty's leadership philosophy is the key to combating extremism, terrorism, and the radicalization of our vulnerable young people. Your Majesty, this is Bahrain on our international journeys around the world proudly showcases Your Majesty's multifaceted achievements through the Democratic March and Reforms Program and the achievements of Your Majesty's ministries led by the Head of Government, His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. And in fact, whatever country we visit on our global travels, we find people are astonished at the extent of those achievements and the many services offered by the ministries of health, education and housing amongst others to both Bahrainis and expatriates alike because this is just not seen anywhere else in the world. Your Majesty, we encounter similar astonishment when it comes to the outstanding focus on the rights and development of women and children in the Kingdom of Bahrain, led by our dear First Lady, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, as this is unparalleled, not just in our region, but even in so-called highly developed First World countries. Your Majesty, we highlight many more excellent examples of the reality of life in Bahrain during our international journeys around the world, but our most important message is always one of peace and love, because this is the cornerstone of Your Majesty's leadership philosophy, and this is exactly what our troubled world needs right now, and we note that other world leaders are now following Your Majesty's example and beginning to speak the same language to their people. Your Majesty, we expatriates and Bahrainis who exist happily together as one family, the Bahrain family, are living proof that under Your Majesty's leadership, the Kingdom of Bahrain remains a shining beacon of hope in a world filled with darkness, where love and mutual respect are the oxygen of that hope. And peaceful coexistence is our natural state of being. Your Majesty, in today's world, it is crucial that we concentrate on our young people and firmly plant those seeds of hope in our young generation and equip them with the opportunities, the skills, the confidence and the support to continue to reach those dizzying heights of achievement and uphold the peaceful coexistence that has been Bahrain's legacy for centuries. Your Majesty, we already have the finest examples in our Crown Prince and first Deputy Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, whose Crown Prince Scholarship Program has done just that since 1999. 
and over 160 of our finest young students from all walks of life have been sent to study at the world's top universities thanks to the Crown Prince's scholarship program. We must also mention His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee and Chairman of the Board of Trustees for the Royal Charity Organization. His Highness's own personal achievements as a world-class athlete and his tireless work to ensure the Kingdom of Bahrain's athletes make their mark on the world's sporting stage, including winning gold at this year's Olympics are cause for great celebration, as are the hard work and passionate commitment of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, and founder of KHK Mixed Martial Arts Organization, which introduced a stunning new sporting platform to Bahrain that has already won recognition around the world. We are most fortunate to have three such inspiring young leaders. Your Majesty, I would like to take a moment to highlight the important role played by our This Is Bahrain team, who have worked very hard for many months to make This Is Bahrain a big success. Moreover, Your Majesty, our team work around the clock, keeping in touch with all the friends we have made and the organizations we now collaborate with as a result of our This Is Bahrain events since May 2014 in London, Berlin, Brussels, Paris, New York, Washington, and now Roma. We keep them updated on the latest news and developments from the Kingdom of Bahrain, including the ongoing achievements of our ministries, and continue to work to assist in the development of business relationships which were born of This Is Bahrain events. We cultivate our relationships with religious leaders and institutes around the world and update the European and other parliamentarians and leading media organizations with the reality of life in Bahrain. Your Majesty, our This Is Bahrain have built up an enviable global database and their work is crucial to our ongoing success and the powerfully positive impact that This Is Bahrain leaves in the hearts and minds of those it interacts with. Your Majesty, I beg your indulgence as I thank them all from the bottom of my heart for their hard work, for their love and loyalty for This Is Bahrain and the work we do in support of our home, the Kingdom of Bahrain. Your Majesty, I firmly believe that in Bahrain we are all united and I'm very proud to be able to say that under the leadership, Bahrain is united. Your Majesty, Bahrain is united is our new slogan for the National Day celebrations and for celebrations on the 14th of February 2017 for the 16th anniversary of the National Action Charter. In 2001, 98.4% said a resounding yes, and we want to give everyone the opportunity to renew that pledge. Your Majesty, we will open a special Renewal of Vows book to allow us to state anew our support for and belief in the democratic march, and to renew our pledge to stand behind Your Majesty and our leadership as you continue to lead us on the path to an even greater era of peace and prosperity where love may remain, reigns supreme, and the Kingdom of Bahrain remains a haven of religious freedom and peaceful coexistence, and where our love for each other is the glue that forever binds us. Your Majesty, that is why Bahrain is united, and will remain so under Your Majesty's wise leadership. Thank you, sir. His Majesty the King then delivered a speech. بعد زيارتكم الأخيرة لمدينة روما ونتائجها المثمرة ضمن فعاليات هذه هي البحرين لإيصال صوت البحرين الداعي للسلام والمحبة والتسامح 
ونقل صورتها الحضارية كبلد حاضن للتعددية والتعايش بين مختلف الأطياف والديانات على مر التاريخ ونود بهذه المناسبة أن نعرب عن مدى امتناننا لتخصيص كرسي أكاديمي يحمل اسمنا في مجال التعايش السلمي بأحد أعرق الجامعات الإيطالية بهدف الإسهام في إثراء المعرفة الإنسانية وتنشيط الثقافة العالمية عبر رعاية العمل البحثي في مجال ترسيخ وحماية حقوق الإنسان واحترام الأديان والثقافات وكلنا أمل بأن يسهم هذا الكرسي العلمي في نشر ثقافة السلم والتسامح ونبذ التطرف والكراهية والتعصب من خلال البحوث التي سيرعاها هذا البرنامج الأكاديمي تحقيقا لأهداف العلمية ورسالته الإنسانية وفي الختام نكرر شكرنا وتقديرنا لكم جميعا على ما تبذلونه من جهود طيبة تعبر عن حبكم العميق للبحرين مقدرين لكافة المؤسسات الوطنية ما قاموا به من نشاطات نوعية كلا في اختصاصها لتوضيح واقع البحرين وما تشهده من نجاحات متعددة ومتنوعة في كافة المجالات والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Then His Majesty the King greeted the audience, thanking them for their efforts and noble feelings.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a written letter to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, inviting him to participate in the 37th Gulf Cooperation Council Summit to be hosted in the Kingdom of Bahrain in December. The invitation was delivered by the Kingdom of Bahrain's Ambassador to Kuwait, Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and he was received by His Highness the Emir at Bayan Palace. The Ambassador conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King to His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, wishing Kuwait and its people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa attended today the ceremony held by the Ambassador of the United Arab Emirates to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Abdul Al Khouri, on the occasion of the 45th United Arab Emirates National Day. Among the invited guests were a number of ministers, senior officials and members of diplomatic corps. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister asserted the deep-rooted ties between the leadership and the people of both countries, which become, or rather became a model for outstanding relations bound by a united destiny. His Royal Highness also praised the growing Bahraini-Emirati relations in all fields due to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan and their continuous efforts to boost the bilateral cooperation in order to achieve sustainable political and economic growth that would enhance their regional and international status. His Royal Highness the Premier highlighted the development achieved by the UAE under the wise leadership in various areas, stressing that such successful experience is a role model of appreciation by all, wishing the Emirates further progress and advancements. He also emphasized the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain and its aspiration towards strengthening bilateral ties, particularly in economic, trade and investment fields, as well as increased coordination on regional and international issues within the framework of the Gulf Cooperation Council. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed his keenness to participate in the celebrations of the UAE's National Day, which reflects the affection for the leadership and people of the neighboring nation that never hesitated to give its support to Bahrain in all circumstances. For his part, Mr. Khouri expressed his sincere thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his interest in reinforcing cooperation between the two countries, stressing that his participation in this event reflects the depth of the bilateral relations that is witnessing continuous development.
Members of the delegation participating in the parliamentary group of the Asian Parliamentary Assembly, the APA meeting, Fuad al Haji, stated that the representative council speaker and head of the parliamentary group delegation, Ahmed bin Ibrahim al Mullah, discussed ways of enhancing cooperation and joint action with Cambodia uh, during his meeting with the Cambodian Prime Minister, Han Sin. This participation is an implementation of the representative speaker's directives to activate and enhance the diplomatic and parliamentary institutions, communicate with councils and parliaments in cont continental on international forums, highlight achievements of the reform project, democratic march and parliamentary work in Bahrain, as well as coordinate the Arabic and Islamic positions on current issues and reinforce ways of cooperation at both the council and general secretariat levels. The Bahraini-British joint work team held a meeting in London yesterday, co-chaired by the Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa for the Bahraini side, and the Under Secretary of State for the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, Minister for the Middle East and Africa, Tobias Elwood, for the British side. During the meeting, they discussed the historical ties between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom, the dates back to over 200 years, and ways of improving these relations at all levels. They also looked into ways of strengthening coordination between the two sides and developing various aspects of operation to meet the aspirations of both nations and their people. The meeting also discussed the latest issues and development in regional and international arenas, with the two sides affirming their keenness to continue efforts to consolidate regional and international peace and security and confront the dangers and challenges faced by countries in the region. Tomorrow, the Kingdom is celebrating Bahraini Women's Day, which this year marks the achievements of female workers in the judicial and legal fields. More in this report. Bahraini women have had a pivotal role in the nation-building process thanks to their full political and economic rights enshrined in the National Action Charter and the Constitution that promote and defend equality and equal opportunities in line with international standards and criteria. Compared to other countries in the region, Bahrain has reached an advanced level in the field of human development by applying the United Nations principle and eliminating any kind of discrimination amongst workers which based on uh, gender, job creation and atmosphere. All of this with custom and traditions. All of this with Bahraini custom and traditions uh, led women to enter workplace at all levels and times. Uh, achieved uh, development in many areas as well as created uh, a, a supportive uh, workplace environment for women, women with no obstacles. Women in Bahrain are currently more active than ever before and participate in all fields including politics, education, diplomacy, among others.
It has been noted that in the initial stages, women preferred working on cases related to women, family, and juveniles. However, in the following advanced stage and after gaining uh, extended in terms of both nature of the work, whether in judiciary, public prosecution, legislation, or legal opinion, or legal advice, or in terms of work type of the crime, criminal, civil, commercial, forensic, or other adversion stages of litigation or legal committee in the parliament. The efforts of the Supreme Council for Women under the leadership of Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, are highly valued due to its essential role in elevating the status of Bahraini women and to empower them politically, economically and socially. Bahraini women have had wonderful success stories that could inspire and guide generations as they make up more than 35% of the country's employment force and more than 47% in the public sector. Thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the encouragement from the government, Bahraini women continue to develop in all fields. Judge Ibrahim Zayed asserted that Bahraini women in this sector have made large strides in the judicial field thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Her Royal Highness wife of His Majesty and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. This support is the basic for us, not for the uh, judge women, it's only for all of us because the, this support from the King Hamad and uh, uh, Sheikh Hasibicha, it's uh, the, the push for us to make uh, good judgments and uh, for men and women equal. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they will make it, you know, it will be um, the, the, the starting from the lady, the ju judge woman, and it will be very nice and very wonderful year to choose the ladies in, in, in the law sectors.